Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you an amazing Dollar Tree hack using this bowl and a waiter's corkscrew. Stay tuned. To do this hack, you're going to need a few simple items. First of all, one of these bowls from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what size it is, but uh, anyway, you can see about how big it is in my hands. Good packable size. And then you're going to need one of these waiter's corkscrews. Now this is a pretty neat item. We'll go ahead and take it out of the package. And uh, of course it has the corkscrew on it. But it also has a pretty nice little serrated knife blade. So that's pretty handy. But what I really like is it's got this hook in it. That hook area right there. And that's going to be really handy and it's all metal. So it's, uh, it's going to do really well for our purpose. But it's still fairly lightweight. The other items that you're going to need is a hammer, some sort of a sharpie, a file, and a large nail. So turning the bowl upside down, we want to take the corkscrew and we want to place it here. And then using the Sharpie, we want to make a mark on both sides. So you get the width of this, just like that. Now we're going to be punching holes to the inside. Using the large nail and the hammer, we're going to punch to the inside of this. And you're going to do it four times. So what you end up with is something that looks like that. Now once you get that done, you want to go ahead and punch out the rest of it. The other tool you're going to want is your multi-tool. And you're going to take this and you're going to pry this out and clean this, this bit out that you pinched out right here. So this piece of metal here, I'm just going to wiggle it back and forth until it breaks off. Once you get that punched out, there's going to be a lot of sharp edges. So you want to take some kind of a file, or you can use a Dremel tool if you want, and you want to clean up all of these sharp edges. And I'll do that and get back with you. Once you get that cleaned off to where there are no more sharp edges and everything feels good to your hand, you take the hook, which is of course a bottle opener, and it goes just like this. And it forms a perfect handle, which of course makes a great little cook pot or a frying pan. It's lightweight, it's packable, comes apart, fits inside of itself. Super cheap, very easy to make. All right, let's show you how it works. So what we have here is a couple of scrambled eggs, a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan, and some salt and pepper. And we're going to set it here on our coals and easily remove the handle. And when we need to access it, easily just hook it in like that and pull it off the fire. All right, it's about finished. And uh, as you can see, it's really easy to get a hold of. Just literally a little hook there right in here and it holds it sturdy enough that I can stir it around like so so it doesn't fall off and it, it's pretty pretty firm on there and uh, this uh, this pot works pretty good see they're nice and scrambled and uh, pretty well done and it didn't burn it to the bottom of course I've got a low heat coal fire here but uh, yeah it's pretty impressive and it's very cheap all right, let's see how it tastes. Excellent. What I really like about this is not just the cheapness, but how light it is and the fact that uh, it makes really good cookware. So. 
Hope you like this hack. I'm going to finish this. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the down arrow. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.